The town of Newport is bracing for big job losses. The town's largest employer, ConAgra, has announced its factory there is closing. At least 350 people will lose their jobs next January. Tanya's reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how important this factory is to that community. I'm in downtown Newport, and this plant has been here for nearly 120 years. Now the town is preparing to lose both the jobs and the history that go with it. That is one of our strong points in this town. It's one of our strong points. And soon it's going away. It, it will be tough. Along with 350 jobs up in smoke. That plant's been here for over 100 years. Uh, it's kind of a lifeblood of this community. Just steps from downtown. It was formed in 1898. The ConAgra plant has been around for ages. 1905, Stokely began canning green beans and sauerkraut on the current site. Its future now uncertain. It's really tough to get that news. Lucas Graham is the president of the county's economic development office. He's in charge of bringing jobs to Newport. It typically takes more like three years to close a deal of this magnitude. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, we've got less than 12 months. ConAgra says it's closing to increase efficiency across the company. This factory will keep making ketchup and beans until the gates shut for good next year. The sun will come up tomorrow. We will figure it out. We're a pretty resilient community. At the library. It even has old cars and everything. Photos show decades of history now coming to a close. It's going to be something that is going to be really be missed. It wasn't just it wasn't just a place where people had jobs. It was a historical landmark to us. And it's not just the jobs and the history, utilities too. The wastewater treatment plant here in Newport was organized with the factory in mind, and now that it's losing its biggest customer, business leaders are worried rates for everyone else could be going up. Back to you.